Hey guys, it's me, Mrs. Maine, coming to you from my dining room table again because, funny story, I had an entire week to clean and organize my office and then I just didn't. I didn't do it. Uh, but let's focus on something super interesting. Unlike Mrs. Maine's boring story about cleaning her office, Amelia Earhart, oh, who disappeared while attempting to fly all the way around the world. Where did she go? Did she live? Did she die? Did she crash on an island? We don't know, but we're going to attempt to find out. So here's the basic story. Once upon a time in 1937, Amelia Earhart, who was already a very famous, well-known pilot who'd set records, decided she wanted to set another record. She wanted to be the first pilot ever to fly all the way around the world. So uh, she set off with her navigator, Fred Noonan. <laughs> Everyone always forgets about poor Fred Noonan, but he was also in the plane. He's also missing. Um, they set off flying around the world. All the newspapers covered it. It was a huge big deal. On July 2nd, 1937, she was flying across the Pacific Ocean. She was making a uh, hop so she would land on a tiny island and then she'd fly to the next tiny island because the ocean's, you know, super big. She radioed that they were running low on fuel and they weren't quite sure where they were. And then, nothing. <sighs> there are three basic theories about what happened to Amelia Earhart. Theory number one, uh, the United States government investigated because Amelia Earhart was a United States citizen and the United States was helping her out and it looked it looked kind of bad that we lost her. Anyway, they investigated and they decided that she had run low on fuel, she'd gotten off course and crashed somewhere in the ocean and been lost. It's a perfectly plausible theory, but there's some evidence she might have crash landed on an island. Uh, remains, that's bones. Bones have been found that are a woman's bones and they, if you measure them, they match exactly the height that Amelia Earhart was. <sighs> um, <laughs> I would love it if they test these bones for DNA, but they've sort of lost the bones, but they think they've found them. So uh, hang in there because sometime in the next couple of years, there's gonna be some DNA evidence one way or the other. Fingers crossed. On another island, they found debris that could possibly be like from the crash. They found a navigational instrument that might belong to Fred Noonan. They found what could be a woman's shoe. They never found the plane. There's a third theory. It's a little bit out there. But uh, this theory goes that Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan crash landed somewhere safely and then were captured by somebody, by the Japanese military or uh, by some other group of people, or that uh, they hit their heads and they got amnesia, and so they were fine, but they didn't know who they were. <laughs> this theory seems pretty far out there, like pretty kooky, right? Except, except that there's this photograph. There's a photograph taken on a dock in one of the Marshall Islands that shows two people that look an awful lot like Fred Noonan and Amelia Earhart. Now, there's some debate about when this photograph was taken. If it was taken in 1935, like some people think, then it definitely wasn't Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan because they hadn't attempted to fly around the world yet. That happened in 1937, remember? But uh, this photograph is undated and there's some debate about when it was taken. So, not so kooky anymore, is it? Just like every week, uh, click on the link below or you get it in an email every Monday anyway if you've signed up for History Mystery Club emails. Uh, go to the Google Docs page, read the introduction, read the facts, skim the evidence, look really closely at the photographs would be my advice, and then skim some of the other evidence. There's some uh, evidence about a skull found and some bones found. If you're squeamish, skip that because it's kind of gross, but very cool, but kind of gross. Uh, take the survey and join us for our Zoom meeting on Thursday where we talk about it. I can't promise we will have any answers on Thursday, but we'll have a great discussion. And uh, then you earn one of those adorable little pins. Like always, I'll drop it in the mail for you. There's some cool stuff this week uh, <laughs> in the extra part. Step four is optional, but it's very cool. You can learn um, a little bit more about Amelia Earhart by reading a book about her, or if you are super lazy, I included a YouTube video of somebody else reading a book about Amelia Earhart to you. <sighs> That's for all my people that are super lazy and don't clean out their offices. Uh, <laughs> 
Plus, you can learn more about radios, how radio waves work, uh, a ham radio. I don't know if you know what that is, but if you don't, click on the ham radio link. There's also a really cool link if you're super, super bored. You can build your own shortwave radio. Uh, there's just cool stuff, so check it out. Bye, guys. Happy sleuthing.